Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video, I am Aditya. In this video, we will see how to have a MetaMask login in our View app. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so let's first understand what is MetaMask. So MetaMask is a crypto wallet which allows you to connect to the blockchain apps. In the pretty simple words. So it works on uh, Ethereum blockchain. Currently, I have a MetaMask account, but I don't have an Ethereum in that, as you can see. But apart from that, what you need is you need to make sure that you have the extension inside your browser to make it work. Now, I will also show you how to make it work on mobile because on mobile browser, it may not work or rather it won't work in Safari or uh, in Chrome in, on Android. Even you install a MetaMask app. But there is a workaround for that and we will see that as well. So first, let's begin with our MetaMask login. So the documentation has all step-by-step -step guidance pretty well explained. So what we need to do is we first need to check if there is an Ethereum object or the MetaMask extension is uh, installed or not. So how we are going to do it is inside our view app. So I'm just going to use the shopping, car shopping cart app not gonna do any purchase or something we're just gonna show you the concept of login so if you haven't checked the shopping cart video please do check it i'll put the link in the description so here we have one simple button here i'm gonna take script now i'll try to use type script so here i'm gonna say lang equal to yes and set up script so just a quick uh, note over here that if you are using react then for react there are pretty good libraries for third web or even for web3 like pretty good libraries that allows seamless connection with metamask uh, login or metamask wallet but uh, in view as i didn't find any good library so i thought okay let's show you how to do it with plain javascript or plain or even typescript so what i'm gonna do is here i will have on mounted and here i'm gonna check if our browser supports metamask or if there is a, a metamask extension installed in our browser now currently like at least till today's days when this video is recorded it supports uh chrome uh then brave and i guess it supports internet explorer as well or edge sorry but it doesn't support safari for some reason but uh yeah it's like two three browsers it supports so going back again over here what i'm gonna do is i'll take a variable is metamask supported i'm gonna keep it wrap of false by default it's gonna be false we need a ref as well from here ref okay and on mounted i'm gonna do is metamask supported equal to whatever that value is so here i'm gonna say window dot ethereum let's copy it from here so i'm just gonna copy it over here and just gonna say dot value. So this value over here. Now it is gonna throw an uh, error. To solve this, simply you can specify it as a type of something. So here I'm gonna say as any. So window is our object of anything. If you don't want to have any, then you need to specify a separate interface and you need to find the actual value for this Ethereum and then have it as an interface or for window, something like this. So here I'm gonna say declare global and here i will say interface window and he will here i will say ethereum is of type any and then i can simply use here window dot now the problem will be when you use other variables like maybe window and navigation or something like that it will throw error again so you need to add it in the interface here again so quick tip would be just to declare it as any like this uh, as any, yeah okay so now this will show whether this is supported or not so here what i need to do is i just need to do conditional rendering so here i'm gonna say v if install metamask extension okay now what we need to do is just need to get this component so define title and that's gonna come from so let's see how it looks in the browser so for now i just need to refresh this refresh yeah that's so great now suppose if this wasn't there suppose i just put a value of false over here and just comment this let's go back over here and okay 
so you will see install metamask extension okay so currently we have this so we can just get it back again and we are going back again okay now next thing is making this button work so going back to the documentation okay we have this ethereum that's great now next thing is we just need to request it okay so we need to have an on click on that button and we just need to have ethereum dot request and whatever our method is so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say on this button and right click connect wallet and then simply have that function here now this is going to be an asynchronous function so we just need to do something like this async function connect to wallet and then here we will need now we already have our ethereum no we don't have it we just have a condition store so we just need to straight away get the ethereum so here i'm gonna do window because if i do ethereum let's see if it throw an error it will most probably so i need to do ethereum dot request yeah uh yeah it is gonna say cannot find the name ethereum okay so in this case what we need to do is we need to do window dot ethereum and here as well we need to do as any and then it should work so request and we just need to pass this method so ethereum request account okay so let's go back over here and let's put it over here okay now after you do this you can get the account details so what i'm going to do is i don't want to uh, expose my address so in that case i'll just follow what metamask has like put the address like last three digits or last uh, three characters and then dot 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 or first three characters and dot 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 so we'll do something like that so what i'm going to do is uh, here i will take another div just to make sure that we are logged in so and here we will have vls is logged in but if it's not logged in okay so actually it should be on the down one over here on this div yeah perfect so that's great now let's see what do we have so if we go back again over here that's great now we just need to click on this and it should open over this thing now what i'm going to do is if i click on this you will see our metamask uh, my wallet opens and here it's just asking like who is requesting for it etc etc so i can select this account and then i will need to do next and all those things simply i will uh as we are having it over here so i'm going to say here const accounts equal to await and then if we have any accounts or if we get any accounts value then we will just store the address somewhere so let's take that so like kind of a, like a variable here so const or let's do it like a computed property for that we will need const address equal to wrap of blank and here i will have the computed property of computed address which will be a computed property over here so i'm going to say computed then it's going to be a function in here so i'm going to say const computed address and this will be just like something like first three characters of this and then dot dot dot, dot something like that so it's gonna be that would be easy <laughs> so this should go over here and it should display once we have the address so here we can get the address so here i'm gonna say address dot value equal to accounts of zero okay so let's give it a try Okay, MetaMask login. So here you will see a blue dot over here. Then next view address. Okay, connect, connecting. So this means that we have perfectly logged in and that's it. Okay, so now this works great on the like a desktop browser or laptop browser, but what about the mobile browser? So what I'm gonna do is I'll quickly share my mobile screen over here and I need to uh, do use ngrok to make this URL public. So give me two minutes, I'll get back to it in a moment. Okay, so as you could see, like uh, on my iPhone, it shows that install MetaMask extension because we don't have that extension on Safari, nor on Chrome. So how do we make it work on phone? So generally this is a bit to work around and uh, hope so in the future, there is a solid solution for this. So what you need to do is you need to install the MetaMask app 
from App Store or Play Store and just put this URL in the browser of that app. So let's copy this URL as it is. Then let's go to the MetaMask app over here. And inside this, once we are into it, it will have an option over here for browser. So open that browser. Here I have just opened the MetaMask documentation, but what we need to do is just remove it, paste our value of the URL and fingers crossed, let's see what happens. And there we go, we have a MetaMask login option. So hit the button and there it is, we can connect now. So connect and there it is, pretty easy, isn't it? <laughs> so that's how you can do it on the phone. So that's all in this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you feel this video is worth sharing, please do share with your network. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. So see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.